नमस्कार वंस अगेन दिस इज विक्रम सिंह किरण सिंह चौहान पीजीडी फिजिक्स नंद विद्या निकेतन जामनगर वेलकम यू ऑल इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द काइनेमेटिक इक्वेशंस द इक्वेशंस व्हिच गिव रिलेशन बिटवीन इनिशियल वेलोसिटी फाइनल वेलोसिटी डिस्टेंस कवर्ड एंड द टाइम as well as the acceleration so when a body is under the action of constant acceleration we are having three kinematic equations namely the velocity time relation v equals to u plus at the position time relation s equals to ut plus half at square and velocity position relation the third kinematic equation v square is equals to u square plus 2as we had taken some numericals based on the kinematic equations but we didn't derive them so today we are going to derive the three kinematic equations using the graphical method as in figure in this graph you can see it is a graph between velocity and time a vt graph for an object moving along a straight line which is accelerated at a constant rate is plotted here let us assume that the object was having initial velocity u at the time t equals to 0 so the point will come here this i am taking as a at this point the velocity of the object is u then it is accelerated for a certain time let this time is t the object the body is accelerated for time t at a constant rate a so let a be the acceleration during this particular time interval now since the acceleration is constant this object will attain a higher velocity after time t at the end of the time interval t let the object attains a velocity we can call it as final velocity v which can be denoted by point b and the line ab represents the vt graph for the object initial velocity is u final velocity is v we will draw two perpendiculars on x axis as well as on y axis so from figure we can write some observations like distance oa is equal to distance cd A is equal to u. This will be a value. You can take on the graph five, ten, twenty like this. So u will be the lower value. V will be the final. O A equals to C D equals to u, which is the initial velocity. then the length of oe is equal to we will get length of bd oe is equals to bd is equal to 
v the final velocity Also, this distance OD, AC, EB, we can write as OD is equal to AC equals to EB equals to time interval t so i am writing it as time t also we can write two things here if you consider this distance oe is equals to d b or bd is equal to v z if i want to write bc then this BC will be equal to BD minus CD. So we can write it here. BC is equal to length of BD minus length of BD minus length of CD. That is BC equals to we are going to get V minus U is equal to this BC is equal to EA is there we can write it as it is so BC equals to V minus U so these things first of all we will need to write down using this graph just mention there from figure or from graph we can write all these terms next let us derive the kinematic equations one by one the first equation is the velocity time relation velocity time relation and this can be derived in a very simple way as we know the slope of VT graph, velocity time graph gives the acceleration of the object hence acceleration A is equal to slope of vt graph ab now if this line ab makes an angle theta with the x axis then this slope will become a equals to tan of theta tangent of theta that is in the given right angle triangle opposite side divided by the adjacent side so we can write it as tan of theta a is equal to tan of theta will become bc divided by ac But we had written some values for BC. We can write V minus U here. So we will write it as it is. 
और बी सी वी कैन राइट वी माइनस यू फाइनल वेलोसिटी माइनस इनिशियल वेलोसिटी एंड फॉर ए सी वॉट कैन वी राइट फॉर ए सी वी कैन राइट ए सी इज इक्वल टू ओडी दैट इज टी ए सी इज इक्वल टू ओडी इज इक्वल टू टी सो दिस टी विल गो इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन so we will get a into t is equals to v minus u we are going to use this equation afterwards so just keep it in your mind that v minus u is equals to 80 or bc is equals to 80 but this we will require afterwards so we are just keeping it as this at the instance v minus u is equals to 80 so if this u is coming this side we will get the first kinetic equation v is equals to u plus a into t this is the first kinetic equation velocity time relation I hope you have understood how to derive the first kinematic equation using the simple approach. Next, we will require these values, so just keep it in your mind. Or else, we can write these values here. V minus u is equal to a into t is equal to b c. Just keep it in your mind. We will use it afterwards. now let us derive the second kinematic equation for the first kinematic equation we have used the slope of bt graph for second kinematic equation we will use the area under the bt graph i am rubbing this part because we will need the graph as well as these values so the derivation of first equation is this then let us derive the second kinematic equation which is the position time relation position time relation what is the equation second kinematic equation as i said S equals to u t plus half a t square. This part we are going to derive using the same graph and these values that we had mentioned earlier. So let us start with as the area under a v t graph that is a velocity time graph. gives the distance covered by the object hence we can write distance covered a is equal to area under line ab this can be written as i take it some here s is equals to area of this rectangle as well as area of this triangle area of this triangle plus area of this rectangle so area of rectangle o a c d plus 
area of triangle A, B and C. Area of rectangle, this area can be as the length into its breadth. So this will become OD into OA. I write it slightly different. This will become OA into OD. OA into OD plus area of right angle triangle ABC can be written as 1 by 2 1 by 2 base into height that is AC into BC AC into BC So now we will write down the values OA for what? Uh, for OA what can we write? We can write U So write it as it is U For OD we can write T So this I will write directly U into T plus 1 by 2 for AC AC this is side AC AC equals to T so we will write it as AC for AC we are writing T into BC this is BC and just now we have written here BC is equals to AT so we will use this equation here so B for BC we are using A into T you please mention here that what did we use here since BC is equals to A into T and thus the equation that we are going to get as S is equals to U into T plus half A T square which is our second kinematic equation position time relation you should keep in your mind that we had used one equation from the first part even you could have written here BC equals to V minus U and then later on you could have written V minus U is equals to A into T so the equation final equation is going to come S equals to UT plus half A T square so in this way we have derived two kinematic equations V equals to U plus A T S equals to ut plus half a t square. Now, let us derive the third kinematic equation. For the third kinematic equation, we are going to need the same area under a VT graph, but the approach is slightly different. Whatever the difference is there that I am going to discuss with you right now. So, let us derive the third kinematic equation, which is the velocity position relation. I am coming this part. You try to write down stepwise so that you will get an effectiveness while deriving the equation. This way we will need, that's why I am not rubbing it. The third kinematic equation is. The relation between position and velocity, so I write it as position velocity relation. And how to derive it? As 
the area under a vitilla gives the distance covered by the object in the given time interval. So now we will not add the area of triangle or area of area of triangle and area of rectangle, but we will calculate the area using the formula of area of a trapezium. That means the entire area we are going to get as the formula. So no need to add it. Area of a trapezium, as we know, distance covered by the object is equals to area of. I'll write it once. Area under vitira that is A B. This can be written as area of trapezium trapezium O A B C D area of trapezium. So now the formula for area of trapezium is 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides multiplied by the distance between the parallel sides. So sum of parallel sides. Which are the parallel sides here? OD, OA and B. So I write it as sum of parallel sides OA plus BD into the distance between these two parallel sides. These two parallel sides will be this distance. So I write it as OD. This formula you will have to write as it is area of trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 sum of its parallel sides multiplied by the distance between parallel sides. Now we will write the values that we had written earlier for OA. What can you write? OA is equal to we can write U. So write it as it is OA. For OA I had written U plus for BD, what can we write? We can write B. U plus V into for OD, we can write T. For OD, we can write T here. Thus, we are getting S is equals to 1 by 2 u plus v into t. Now from the earlier equation that we had derived v equals to v minus u is equals to a into t is there. So substituting for t as v minus u is equal to a into t is there. So this gives us T is equals to V minus U upon A. We will substitute this value for T. So, substituting for T, we get S is equals to 1 by 2 A into V plus U. I had just changed it V plus U and V minus U. 
that is this can be written as 2as is equals to this is a plus b a minus b so we can write v square minus u square this is our final equation just bring this u square this side we are going to get v square is equals to u square plus 2 by s this i am leaving for you just try to write down the derivation by taking your own points that means you choose you plot the graph as it is just change the names like o p q r s t and try yourself to derive these equations one after the other the three kinematic equations are very very useful in terms of kinematics and that is why we will always need them so i insist you to derive these equations by taking the different points in the graph i hope you have all understood how to derive the three kinematic equations use these equations to solve the numericals repeating again the first equation is v equals to u plus a into t second kinematic equation is s equals to ut plus half at square third kinematic equation is v square is equals to u square plus 2 as this u will u square will come on the left hand side side so this is what for the derivations of kinematic equations in the next module we will learn about the circular motion of the objects so by the time this is vikram sir kiran sir chavan takes your leave thank you